Moving on from that one, we have this story, courtesy of the Shade Borough, regarding entrepreneur and influencer. Oh, they didn't spell it properly. Big up fucking the Shade Borough and their inability to fucking copyright. Uh, entrepreneur and, inf and influencer Ben Anderson accused of defrauding investors $8 million. Now, I don't really know who Ben Anderson is. I just found out about him via Shade Borough, so I'm not going to come you know get on here and pretend i know who this guy is but having done a brief bit of research and heard him speak he's basically a promoter right he's basically a promoter he puts on big events here in the uk and it seems like he was defrauding defrauding his investors and when you read the story it's pretty outlandish and again it goes to show that i think a lot of fraud obviously there are people that don't do fraud well but i think the the majority of people who get caught when they're frauding or scamming it's because they're being too greedy that's my honestly that's my honest prevailing thought because i know of a lot of people when i grew up in my area and stuff who are banging acs right doing credit card scams and shit and the ones that did it to get like studio equipment to get their first laptop to do driving lessons most of them knew to do it go in go out it was never a long-term thing. It was never, oh, I'm going to bang ACs. I'm going to bang whatever drops until the end of time. They knew it had a time limit. They knew it wasn't a forever thing. But because they didn't have the ability to maybe pay for driving lessons straight away or maybe pay for a new laptop or whatever it may be, or studio equipment and whatnot, microphones, cameras, all that good shit, they would do it with the scam money. And then they would go legit. But you wouldn't do it long term and you wouldn't just keep, you know, fucking scamming the people that you're working with also. You wouldn't do that. You just do it for the time you need it or do it for what you actually need and then ditch it and go legit um, long term. That's what most people did. But I think this guy did a bit too much. So let's read the story. Influencer and entrepreneur Ben Anderson, who featured on Good Morning Britain, faces accusations of defrauding investors, allegedly stealing eight million with his wife Sophie through the business Musical.ly's. Now, the funny thing is, if you're wondering, where's the wife Sophie? You know where Sophie is? Nowhere to be found. Because Sophie is a very, very Caucasian lady. And in all the articles that I've seen, it just features this Ben Anderson guy. Now, to be fair, having done my preliminary Googles, it is quite hard to find pictures of his wife Sophie. So maybe she's a private individual. But I find it hilarious that all the news articles are leading with pictures of this Ben Anderson guy, but not including pictures of his wife. It just seems like he did it on his own when really him and his wife were doing the Bonnie Clyde scam thing. But hey, we continue. Despite not promoting any concerts. <laughs> you see how people scam? How could you have a concert promotion company not promote any concerts? Like, that's doing too much. If you're going to scam, put the concert on. Maybe over, maybe, you know, maybe write down big, higher figures than what the actual figures are overcharge people and then keep the fucking difference but at least put the fucking event on don't just put no event on and then start scamming people that's a bit too much personally it's all like the caesar penia thing with right? the flipping houses with dj envy a lot of that scam was more so the uh, you know not even the fact that the deals went bad it was more so that there was no houses in the first place all those building sites they went to go visit weren't even in his hate name they didn't buy anything on that on those lots. They just took people's money that like they were gonna flip use it to flip houses and just pocketed it. Crazy. So, despite not promoting any concerts, they allegedly created a fabricated invoices and bank statements to create the illusion of effort. As stated the Doc London Circuit Commercial Court. Jonathan Cohen KC, representing the claimants, asserted in court. This is a case of theft by Mr. and Mrs. Anderson of 8 million and Mr. and Mrs. Anderson are fraudsters. So they fooled, they fucking faked, counterfeited, fabricated bank statements and shit. Wow. And invoices. I bet you that's a lot easier than people think, isn't it? I bet if you actually want to get a business loan, you could probably fake an invoice or a pay slip and probably be approved for a business loan pretty quickly. I bet you the, the fucking due diligence they need to do to kind of approve loans and stuff isn't as stringent as you probably think it probably happens quite often they have cheated the claimants out of many millions of pounds by the pretense of seeking funding to promote concerts at which famous musicians will perform there was no such concerts organized no attempt to organize them and no prospects of these concerts ever happening i love lawyer speak right like no such court concerts are organized no attempt was made to make them and there's no prospect of them being made in the future. So covered all the fucking bases, you know? 
I love it. Past, present, future. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson simply spent the money on high living. A close study of their bank statements reveal that almost none of the money was spent on business purposes. It was spent on high living. The couple said that they needed 28000 per month. This is to cover the cost of two nannies and a huge rented house. Yo. When I found out, I think I was checking... I was on YouTube recently. Oh, no. I was on Instagram recently. And I stumbled across this really cool hat. I think it's made by like Sundays, XYZ or XCZ, something like that, right? It's this cool hat that all the little trendy fashion hipster kids in London are wearing, which has got this like little checkerboard design, right? It's like kind of checkerboard design. Uh, I don't know, whatever color it is in black, whatever dark color, you know, all over the fucking hat. And I only realized recently that that hat was made by Magnus, the YouTube kid, right? That's got a brand called Ronin. I didn't know that that was his brand. It's cool. I saw that his brand, then I went on his YouTube channel because I haven't seen his YouTube channel in a while. Check out that Magnus Ronings YouTube channel, really good. And he has a he has a video up where he's basically talking about his new apartment and his old apartment. And he mentioned that his old apartment, I think it's a very swanky place. It might be, I'm gonna high pop, I'm gonna guess it's probably somewhere in South, no, it's probably somewhere in East London or North London, next to the canal or something, right? But it's a really nice apartment. Um, but one bedroom kind of a small you know bachelor little pad and he said he basically paid 2850 pounds per month nearly 3k per month and my jaw hit the floor obviously reading the comments i found out that in that area that he's in or for that kind of layout of a building or layout of a flat is quite standard but can you imagine paying three grand a month for rent I could never imagine that to rent somewhere, not somewhere you're paying with your mortgage or whatever. You're renting somewhere for three grand per month is insane. I don't see how any family could need 28,000 to survive. Like, what are you actually buying? What are you, why, where is the money actually going that will justify wanting a 28,000 um, budget for your living cost per month? Like, honestly, do you have a nanny per kid? like a nanny per hour or something like what the hell is going on and again this is for i mean pure evidence of just doing too much they probably could have scammed but they just did too much and then they got caught because they got greedy it was spent on first class flights to holidays places like dubai cohen's rants did not stop and there was uh, he would go on to call the people common or garden griffiners sorry common or garden grifters their defense as presented by the court states the andersons initially planned to organize the concerts and were not fraudsters from the start but the situation got out of control so they're trying to make it seem like one of those startup things right they, they had good intentions but then they failed because of x y and z it's like shut the fuck up bro um Seward Atkins, legal representative of defendants, informed the court that Mr. Mr. Anderson claimed to be one of figures in the music industry. They consensus accusations that they were in incapable of organizing concerts for now the artist. <laughs> oh, the court's killing them. Um the couple expressed their commitment to repay all the debts included uh, incurred for their clients and uh, however unforeseen circumstances such as pandemic lockdowns and tragic death of twin babies led to a collapse of their business mr watkins explained to judge um richard's peace the concerts might have happened if it was for the pandemic an extraordinary personal tragedy the death of their twin babies oh wow so their kids died in the midst of them running this scam pretty crazy isn't it pretty 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 crazy but yeah 28 grand per month um living cost is fucking insane defrauding people eight grand is insane and also just this whole like social media influencer type of guys anyway you have to keep your eye out for them they're always full of shit in my personal opinion i think those guys are always always full of shit the ones that's like oh a day in the life of a billionaire here's what i do rise and grind i finish all my chores all my stuff i need to do before 7 a.m then the day is free to do whatever i want to do minimalist da -da -da, american cycle here i come it's like come on bro again like please so yeah be careful out there keep heading the swivel but if you see a black guy that looks like this, most likely he's definitely scamming. In my humble opinion, most definitely, he's definitely, definitely scamming.